I was very lucky to be insouciant, not really believing what situation it was, how terrible it was. And that's a plus for me because it, it, it helped me to survive. And since I was in a business since I was 12 years old, that's how I survived in a camp. I sang for my inmates. I got a piece of bread extra from the, from the chef who lived in the, who worked in the kitchen. And I did my first, my first uh, camp was called Utmut, and we worked in a shoe factory and we made uh, uh, wooden heels. And I was in a machine, it was a big room and that was my turn when the, when the, the, the hill comes, I had to put a piece of rubber or leather on the back and the and all day long, because it was so noisy, I sang. Nobody heard me. And that's how I survived, really. My mentality was, I'm, I'm glad I was unconscious about what was happening. I did not know about gas chamber. I did not know that my mother and father and my sister and went directly to the gas chambers when they arrived in Nashville. I did not know that. I thought it was somewhere like I am in a camp and uh, hoping that they're going to survive. And I, I'm very, very blessed not to have realized fully the situation. And they loved me in the camp. I mean, I was a kid and I sang and then I had a nickname called Didi because a Polish chef in the first camp could not say Didon. You know what Didon means? Mm -hmm. Hey, you. And he, and he said Didi, Didi. And suddenly that's my nickname. In all the camps I was in, I was known as Didi and loved it. 